Hello everyone, my name is Ramsri and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, I share my learnings from building three AI SaaS apps, supermeme.ai, question.ai and supertranslate.ai. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how we can get word level timestamp using OpenAI's Whisper through Deepgram's API as well as create an Instagram level fast subtitle video using those word level timestamps. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Maniratham's PS1, Ponin Selvan 1. They've recently added support for OpenAI's Whisper as well. Let's look at the code and integration for uh, Deepgram's uh, OpenAI Whisper. Deepgram supports all the Whisper models that is tiny base, medium and large and also audio files up to 2 gigabytes as opposed to OpenA which has uh, 50 MB limit or something like that. And the best feature that I was most intrigued by was speaker diarization that is identifying different speakers as well as word level timestamps that uh, Deepgram provides on top of Whisper automatically as opposed to OpenA's Whisper offering. So we'll leverage that uh, today and build on top of it. So the main code that we are going to use is this. There are some headers where you need to give the Deepgram's API key. Then you need to pass on the URL of your MP3 file or audio file, etc. And then call Deepgram's uh, API like this. We'll see everything in Python code. Let's get started. So this is a collab notebook that we are going to use. If you want to check out where that collab notebook is present, go to this uh, URL github.com ramsrigotamg supertranslate.ai and in here you have deepgram whisper transcription. So in this repository we are going to add quite a lot of open source utils and associated code as well while we are building our app supertranslate.ai so the necessary code is in deepgram whisper transcription if you go here there's an open in collab notebook which basically opens this and you have some test files here that you can test out with as well now let's get started with the code so here i am uh, giving the deepgram api key that i already have and copied on clipboard now you need to sign up for Deepgram and get that API key if you don't have one. Instead of just printing out the API key here, I'm using get pass to hide it and give it via just this UI. Now I'm just installing Python auto runtime because I want to see how much time does the Deepgram API take whenever I call the functions. And uh, essentially this is the code which is I converted this curl request into this Python code. Simply what this does is if you pass in a file URL that is um, we have these MP, mp3 files here in this supertranslate.ai and uh, deepgram whisper transcription. So for example you have ps1english.mp3 you have the top URL so that's what we are going to pass except one small trick which is instead of blob just replace with raw instead of this main url instead of blob just replace with raw such that the file contents are directly available to the api or it's a public url of the file so this is how the code looks like we have a payload where the URL is the mp3 file URL or the audio file URL and this is the main URL of Deepgram that we are going to call. Simply we are going to use whisper large. If you just use whisper it defaults to whisper medium and uh, we want the output to be in English so language is equal to English and we want punctuation to be true, speaker diarizationization rotation to be true, smart formatting to be true just the output will be nicely formatted some numbers etc i'm just using this so that our output is ready to use 
and simply we have this URL that we are calling with the payload of our audio file which is right here and some headers with our deep gram key that we already have and just do a post request and we get the response back so simple function I converted that curl into this uh, python function right here with requests no other external libraries now I have this uh, ps1 underscore english dot mp3 which is the file that you just saw when I showed the demo and now let's just pass this mp3 url to this and run it so now we are calling the deepgram api with our own public url of this mp3 file and the output should be available in just a few seconds as you can see in just 17.5 seconds we got the output this is about six minutes long it's in complete english so we have this output data that we have uh, some json that we have so in order to just get the transcript i'm going to you know pass pass through this json and get to exactly where i have the transcript let's print this so this is a transcript so the video is a movie review and it goes like hello and welcome to galata plus and all this text amazing <coughs> now in order to get word level timestamps let's get to this results channels alternative and words just you need to look through this uh, api how the json is and just get extract what you want i'm just printing this and this is how it looks like so the formatting is very nice you have a list of dictionaries each dictionary will have a word that is a punctuated word and original word we have the start and end timestamp of that word in this video so word level timestamp and we have the confidence we are not going to use and we have the speaker label so if two people are speaking you get speaker label 0 and 1 this is because we gave speaker uh, diarization is true that's why we have this and pretty simple so what we are going to do is now I asked uh, GPT-4 chat GPT a a p API uh, the UI I use the UI just gave you uh, list like this a list of this and asked it, asked it to create an SRT file that is the subtitle file that takes this JSON and converts it into a subtitle file SRT file with start and end timestamp as well as word so we are doing a subtitle file at word level that's what we are doing here awesome so once you run this uh, it will be very clear so we are just doing the convert to SRT here let's run this so what's happening here is the JSON that you see here word level timestamps that converted that is converted to a subtitle file SRT and that's stored right here if you see ps1 underscore english dot SRT this is how the format looks like pretty simple so we have start and end timestamp and every word since we have word level timestamp so it's like hello and welcome to galata plus and you have long subtitle file awesome this is simple now one thing to remember is that here we passed a uh, language is equal to en so whether you pass english audio file or you pass even hindi audio file or spanish or some other audio file since whisper has translation mode as well you are going to get english subtitles itself but if you want subtitles in the same language you can use this url instead which is detect language is equal to true what happens is that this output will contain the detected language as well but most importantly this transcript and word level timestamps all of them will be in the same language that the audio is in so for example if you have spanish audio the output will be in spanish itself and now let's connect our google drive because we want to just overlay these subtitles onto the actual mp4 file 
and see if the output is perfect or not you want to visualize that and if you go back and see our uh, deepgram whisper translation i have spanish files mp3 files as well and hindi mp3 files as well that you can use test and you know experiment i've made it easy now we have uh, i've kept this uh, the original mp4 file in this path but you can give it keep it in any path and that's why i've connected my google drive so i have the srt file name and i have this mp4 file here what i'm doing is i'm just copying this mp4 file from google drive onto this collab notebook local path if i just refresh you'll see it here yeah i have srt file and original mp4 file why did i do this is simply because i'm using ffmpeg to write srt file subtitle file onto the mp4 file that is why i have uh, placed it here so that it's easier for um, ffmpeg to operate and i'm just you know creating an output file with just this name underscore word level underscore subtitles dot mp4 and let's run this line what this is going to do is simply take this srt file take this mp4 file run it through M ffmpeg in the subtitle mode and write the output in the output video file which is ps1 underscore english underscore word level underscore subtitles dot mp4 this will take about two to three minutes to run awesome it took about one and a half minute and if you just refresh you will see a new file uh, that is subtitle burnt onto the mp4 you can just download this if you want from here or i'm just copying this again back into the back into this original folder as well so if you go back and see um in the original four where i in the original folder where i had i also copied this word level underscore subtitles dot mp4 if you just download this either from here and uh, or from here and play you will see the following output hello and welcome to galata plus in this episode we're going to be talking about mani ratham's ps1 pony selvan one awesome that is how you can easily add word level timestamps and create like instagram like videos where you have fast subtitles that appear and go and if you want to make those subtitles fancy you can look at my previous uh, video essentially if you go to supertranslate.ai the root folder you'll see another video about adding subtitles permanently to a video using python and moviepy here you can add more styles uh, background uh, and adjust the position etc so essentially you got word level timestamps file srt file and you have the original video now you can do any kind of magic that you want thanks for watching